Hey guys, it's Sam and I'm doing a quick and easy tutorial in Photoshop on how to create the sparkles I made in these drawings. Now if you're a mouse artist, no big deal, just stay tuned till the end of the video. Alright, so I opened a new document here. I'm using a white brush and I'm using a tablet and you can just see how this brush, it's the normal hard round brush in Photoshop. Nothing too special, not yet at least. So you're going to want to go over here to your brush preset settings. You're going to want to click on shape dynamics and change your control of the size to pen pressure. And oh look, now you get some line variation. Very cool. But we want sparkles, so we got to keep going. Next step is scattering. So click on scattering and you're going to want both axes and just crank that up to however much you want. Then you're going to get something like this. It still has the pen pressure, so if you press lightly, you're going to get tiny little ones, and the harder you press, the larger you're going to get. So you could stop there and leave it like that, or I like to make things a little bit more spaced out, so go over to Brush Tip Shape. Down here in Spacing, you're going to want to crank that up. It's not a specific number, it's whatever you need for your canvas size. And that's some quick sparkles. Or if you'd like to make them even fancier as I did in these drawings, you're going to want to make them glow because we all know sparkles glow. So go ahead and draw your sparkles however you want them to look. All right, then you're going to want to duplicate the layer. You can do that with Control J or you can right click and hit duplicate layer and just say OK. Or you can drag your layer onto the new layer button. Lots of options. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go over to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and depending on the size of your canvas, this number may change, but go ahead and fiddle around until you get a setting you like, and then click OK. And there you go. Fancy sparkles. All right, so you mouse artists, I am now using a mouse, and let's go ahead and try it a different way. So you notice now if I'm using a mouse, there is no pen pressure. And if you look over in your brush panel, you'll see this little error and it's like, hey, where's the tablet? And it's like, there ain't no tablet because I am an awesome mouse artist, excuse you. So no big deal. Option number one, you can check out my other tutorial on doing line art with a mouse. It's a little old and awkward, but the information is still useful and it still applies here as well. But you can also try other things, which I'll show you guys right now. So you can change your control from pen pressure to fade. And what that does is really cool. Basically, this number next to the fade control is how many quote unquote steps your brush will take before it tapers off. So I can change this between one and 9,999 steps. Once you click and start dragging, it will slowly get smaller and smaller and smaller until it stops. So depending on if you like how the other tutorial video does it or how this does it, whatever suits your needs, go ahead and play around with mouse artists can be sparkly too. And then it's just the same thing. Just duplicate the layer, blur it, and you got some really pretty sparkles. But Sam, I'm even too lazy for the duplicate and blur. It's all right. I feel you. I know exactly what you're talking about. I got tips for you as well. So if you're extra lazy, here's what you want to do. I'm using a 200 pixel brush. We're going to turn off scattering and shape dynamics. Just going to put down a dot anywhere on the screen. I know you're going to have to fight through the duplicating and blur, but trust me, it'll be worth it in the long run. We're going to merge the layers. You can do that by control E or you can right click and say merge down. Then hold tight. This is a few steps. We're going to invert. You can do that by control I or you can do image adjustments or invert, but come on guys, keyboard strokes save lives. All right, and since I'm on a ridiculously large canvas, I'm going to have to move this over. So just copy and paste it into a new file and then well, bam, there you go. Edit, define brush preset, then just type in whatever brush name you want, hit OK. Go back to my big canvas and look, it's a blurry brush. What did that do, Sam? Well, nothing until we keep going. Shape Dynamics, Pen Pressure, Scattering, both axes, same stuff earlier, I ain't going slow for y'all. And then look, it's like you don't have to do any work ever again. 
but this isn't actually saved. So if I were to right click and select this brush again, it's going to reset and you're going to be upset, but I will tell you how to fix that. Just go back, do all your settings, test it to make sure that this is how you want it to look. Then go over here and say new brush preset. And I'm going to do sparkle, sparkle, hit okay. And that's where the magic happens. So now if I go back to this brush, it's, you know, just a blurry brush, who cares? But we go back to the new brush and what's this? Sparkles. Very exciting. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful and hopefully you can make lots of wonderful sparkly work now. I definitely recommend playing with the brush settings just to see what kind of other crazy stuff you can come up with. And if you would like this sparkle brush I made in the video, you can go ahead and get it on my Patreon page linked in the description down below. And if you'd like to see more art related tutorials and videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.